ሰላም ጤና ይስጥልን ውድና የተከበራችሁ የሱፐር ቲዩብ ተከታታዮች እንዲሁም ቤተሰቦች እንደምናላችሁ እንደምስክር ሰዓት ቆያችሁ ዛሬም ደግሞ ከባለፈው የቀጠለ ቻፕተር 8 ፓርት 2 ን እየመጥቻለሁ ማለት ነው ሱም ፍሬሽ ማን ባዮሎጂ ተራስተሪያል ኢኮሲስተም እንግዲህ ምን እንደመጀመሪያ እንደ ኢኮሎጂ ምን ይመስላል ኢኮሲስተም ምን ይመስላል የሚለውን ቻፕተር 8 ፓርት 1 ላይ አይተናል ማለት ነው ዛሬ ደግሞ ሁለተኛውን ክፍል what does that mean terrestrial ecosystem and subdivisions of aa the terrestrial ecosystem የሚለውን ነው ያለ ማለት ነው ለዚህ አስተማሪና ቁም ነገር አዘል ቻናል አዲስ ከሆነችሁ ሰብስክራይብ ያደርጋችሁ በሰብንት ሆነ ጠይቃለሁ እንዲሁም የመለቃቸው ቪዲዮዎች ቶሎ ቶሎ እንዲደርሷችሁ የደወል መልክቷን መጫናችሁን አይዘንጉ ቀጣ ወደ ፕሮግራሙ ጋባለሁ ማለት ነው መልካም ቆይታ መልካም ጊዜ ኦኬ today we discussed about the terrestrial ecosystem or the sub branches of the ecosystem that includes forests grasslands deserts and tundras right so ይህ terrestrial ecosystem የምንለው በተለይ ደግሞ ወደ መሬታማው የኢኮሲስተም ክፍል ወይም ደግሞ የenvironment ክፍል የአካባቢ ክፍል ምን ተብሎ ይጠራል ማለት terrestrial በተለይ ደግሞ ይሄ ደረቃማው ማለት ነው so this terrestrial ecosystem can include forests grasslands deserts and tundras therefore when we are talking about forests forests are large areas supporting rich groves of trees depending on the climate in the type of trees they are generally grouped into uh, tropical rainforest temperate deciduous forest boreal uh, or north coniferous uh, forest because these forests are uh, an area in which there is a large and huge uh groves of trees are uh, existed in the area therefore it can be generally grouped based on the climate and the type of trees they are found as uh, tropical rainforest temperate rainforest and boreal rainforest ziga mindno forest minlo tlayu tiktak yalu tilik zafoch indiyum degmo ከፍተኛ ሆነ ላርጄሪያን ወይም ደግሞ ከፍተኛ ሆነ ቦታን ያዘ ቦታ እንት ነው ማለት ነው አካባቢ ነው ስለዚህ በክላይሜቱ ወይም ደግሞ በአየር ሁኔታውና በሚኖሩት የተክል ወይም ደግሞ የዛፍ አይነቶች በሶስት አይነት ግሩፕ ልንከፍለው እንችላለን ያ ማለት ትሮፒካ ሬንፎረስት ቴምፕሬት ደሽዴስ ፎረስት ኤንድ ቦሪያል ኮንፌሬስ ፎረስት ብለን እንጠራቸዋለን ማለት ነው ሶ ወይን ሲ ዘ ፈርስት ዋን ዛት ኢዝ ትሮፒካ ሬንፎረስት ኢዝ ዘ ዋን ሰብዲቪዥንስ ኦፍ ዘ ፎረስትስ when we see the distribution of the tropical rainforest they are found in high rainfall area on either side of the equator right there is a large and a huge uh, or high amount of uh, rainfall is existed in this uh, rainforest or in this uh, forest areas found in western coastals of india uh, scattered in south east asia and some parts of africa and some uh, parts of uh, south america this uh, tropical uh, rainforest is existed or found so when we see the flora and fauna distributions of this uh, tropical rainforest flora is uh, plants fauna is uh, animals right እንግዲህ ፍሎራ እና ፋውና ምን እንደሆነ የትሮፒካል ሬንፎረስት ዲስትሪቢዩሽኑ ስናይ በጣም ከፍተኛ የሆነ የዝናብ ክምችት ወይም ደግሞ የዝናብ የሚከሰትበት አካባቢ ነው በተለይ እንግዲህ በተለያዩ አካባቢዎች በተለይ እንደ ኢንዲያ ሳውዝ ኤስት ኤዥያ እና በተለይ አፍሪካ ላይም በተወሰነ መልኩ እና በሳውዝ አሜሪካ አካባቢ የሚገኝ ነው ማለት ነው እንግዲህ ፕላንት እና ወይም ደግሞ ይሄ እጽዋት እና የእንስሳት እንትኑ ስናይ የ በዛታቸውን ወይም ደግሞ አከላላቸውን ስናይ ትሮፒካል ሬንፎረስት ኦከርስ ኢን ዘሪያ ኦፍ ሃይ ቴምፕሬት ኤንድ ሃይ ሂዩሚዲቲ ኤንድ ሪሲቭስ አባውት አባብ 200 ሴንቲሜትርስ ኦፍ ሬንፌል ፐር አኒዋል ኦር ፐር ኢየር 200 ሴንቲሜትር ኦፍ ሬንፌልስ አር ኤክዚስትድ ኢን ዚስ ትሮፒካል ሬንፎረስት ራይት ዚስ ዘ ሶይል ዛት ካቨርድ ኦር ዛት አር ፋውንድ ኢን ትሮፒካል ሬንፎረስት አር ሪች ኢን ሂዩማስ ቲዩማስ ምንለው በጣም በሰባክ ይተላል በጣም ፈርታይል የሆነ የመሬት ክፍል ወይም ደግሞ በጣም ምንድነው ለምርት ከፍተኛ የሆነ ጥቅም የሚሰጥ የመሬት ክፍል ነው ማለት ነው ስለዚህ ይሄ ሂዩማስ ኤሪያው ለተክሎች በጣም አስፈላጊ ነው ማለት ነው therefore the soil is very rich in humus so therefore forests have a very rich biodiversity in brazil tropical rainforest have more than 300 species of trees when we are talking about flora we are talking about trees right or plants 
Therefore, 300 species or more than 300 species in the Brazilia tropical forest are existed in an area of 200 uh, square kilometer. Be 200 square kilometer. Be tell be Brazil akawi kasos mato belai zafuch be zi be tropical rainforest coast igenya lo malatun. Trees are tall. They are tall woody creepers, creepers and orchids. It is thus uh, forests are rich in tree dwelling and animals like monkey, snails, centipedes, uh, millipedes and many insects are existed in the area. So those are the foanas. The second classification of the forests are temperate deciduous forests. The temperate deciduous forests. When, uh, when we are seeing or when we are talking about the distribution, they are occur mostly in northwest, central and eastern Europe. Eastern North America, North China, Korea, Japan, and Far East Russia as well as in Australia. When we see the uh, fauna and uh, the flora, trees uh, shed their leaves in autumn. The autumn season new foliage or new leaves will be grown in the spring seasons. spring season like Addis So when we see the climate, those forests occur in areas of moderate climate conditions such as Temperature ranging uh, uh, between 10 to 20 degrees centigrade with uh, six months long winter seasons and annual rainfall between 75 to uh, 150 centimeters. They have its own soil. Uh, the soils of this uh, temperate deciduous forest is rich in nutrients. It is very fertile and rich in uh, uh, nutrients. Flora and fauna common trees are oaks, uh, beech, uh, hills, uh, hills, uh, chestnuts, uh, bridge, uh, pins, and these forests are shows stratification and have under a story of sp uh, spalling or sapling shrubs and tall herbs. Prominent grazers include deer, or uh, those are the faunas or the animals, bisons and rodents. When we are talking about rodent flies, a very important roles in those forests, they feed on seeds. Those rodent animals can feed seeds, prioritize, and the leaves of trees. So, black bears, uh, raccoons, wild cats, wolves, foxes, uh, skunks are the omnivores that are found in the tropical rainforests. Whereas hibernation or winter sleep during winter season is a common animals are found in this. Uh, uh, forest. So, invertebrates fauna comprises green flies, like green flies, aphides, certain moses, and uh, butterflies are mostly found in this uh, tropical uh, temperate rainforest. Okay, the third forest is boreal or north coniferous forest. The distribution coniferous forests are also known as taiga. Taiga, they extend this as a continuous built areas across the North America and North uh, Asia or Russia, the Northern Russia below the Arctic uh, tundras, the Arctic tundras. We will see the, what is the Arctic tundra. And there is no counterparts of those forests in the Southern Hemisphere as there is no lands and there is uh, latitude, right? So this uh, counterpart of the forest in the southern hemisphere and you no know, lands that are uh, important. Climate is cold with long harsh winter season. Very cold with uh, long harsh season. While uh, with mean annual temperate uh, zones, the temperature of the is below zero degree centigrade. The soils are acidic and poor in nutrients. It is very uh, toxic and it is acidic in nature, right? It is not uh, suitable for most plants and uh, for what? Uh, for cultivations, right? 
Flora and fauna, coniferous forest or those uh, boreal forests are characterized by evergreen and drought resistant and woody uh, for coniferous uh, species. Coniferous means gymnosperms that are flowering plants that are producing seed. So the animals found in this uh, boreal forests are reed squares, reed squirrel and deer, goats, mule and moose. The carnivores which are found or uh, feed upon them are uh, timber wolves, lynx, and bears are uh, very common in the boreal forest. Some common birds are crossbills, uh, thrushes, and wild birds, and fly each catters and ribbons, as well as the sparrows, are the common uh, birds that are existed in the boreal rainforests or mostly they are uh, living in the uh, boreal forests right the other one is grassland the distributions uh, and uh, when you see the grasslands are areas dominated by grasses about 20% uh, of the land on the earth's crust is covered with grasses right so these grasses or uh, uh, grasslands are the area that are covered with grasses and occurs in both tropical and temperate regions where rainfall is not enough to support the growth of trees, right? If the growth of tree is very limited because there is a, a limitations of rainfall, rainfall is limited as well as uh, when there is a limitations of rainfall or when there is a small uh, or a very little uh, amount of in a, uh, rainfall is existed, the plant growth will be decreased and the gate is what? Dried. Grassland is also known by various names in different parts of the world as grassland is found in areas having well-defined hot region, it may be dry region, it may be warm region, or rainy seasons. In rainy season, it may be hot, dry, and warm, right? Tropical grasslands are commonly called as savanna. This they are occur in Eastern Africa, South America, and Australia as well as in India. Savannah forms a complex ecosystem with scattered medium-sized trees in grassland. Thus, uh, the grassland is the area where grasses are grown, mostly covered with grass. Flora and fauna of the grassland, grasses are the dominating plants with scattered drought-resistant thorny trees in the tropical grassland. But the labor grassland are grassland blessing tarot, but the grass window basari tashafanamarit. Uh, but uh, Therefore, baggers, uh, baggers, foxes, as zebra, uh, antelopes are found in grazing on grasslands with support the, uh, the dry and lazy industries, right? They are uh, most of the time those faunas or those animals are living in the area of, of the grasslands, right? Bagger, uh, fox, ass, as in green, zebra, actually, antelopes, and no, and you can move battle with the moon or battle. Grasslands are the area also support large populations of rodents, reptiles, and in some insects, right? This is the uh, other uh, areas of the tropical rainforest, that is the desert. Desert Mendeno. When we see the distribution, desert are hot and low rain areas. But I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to Suffering from water shortage it is very uh, effective with uh, lack of water and high wind velocity also existed in the area of the desert. This shows extremes of temperature. Globally, deserts occupy one seventh of the Earth's surface, right? And Savatanyo, a Kawabi Emerit, the desert and out of law in Mabalito, Carmelatan, Alam Line, Natakale, Emerit, and Savatanyo, a desert in Barhamma, Taurita, Malatno. Therefore, flora and fauna of this uh, desert are uh, cacti, acacia, euphorbia. And prickly uh, peers are some common um, desert plants and animals include shrew, uh, fox, wood, rats, rabbits, camels, and goats are common mammals in the desert. And the other prominent desert animals like reptiles and 
borrowing uh, rodents and in insects are uh, existing in the desert area, right? When we are talking about the adaptations of these uh, animals in the desert uh, region, desert plants and animals adapt both hot and dry conditions. They can exist, they can uh, adapt the areas. So those plants conserve water by the following method. They can conserve plants and animals also conserve water from what? Evaporation through the following process because the area is a lack of rainfall and they will need water for uh, many purposes, right? Water is very vital and crucial for transportation, for um, uh, as a solvent in the uh, living system, it is also important for absorption, uh, for digestion and so forth, right? So, those plants can conserve water from evaporation by they are mostly sherbs, leaves absent. They can what lost their leaves and reduce in size. They will uh, what uh, remove their parts, especially their branches, right? Their uh, uh, leaves also and herbs. Leaves and stems are succulent and water storming. Demand no abzanyo by desert in minor plant with Rasachon Kauha Awim Demo how evaporate our gondeota karasachun dalk in a galumalas betala yeman good hon eat up the kalu hon you cotta valumatno. Betala gmun does the uh katalachum bamark of haragachum bamarga can do metala you would like uh a kawialu uh crinchachon bamarga wim demo bamaso get uh Wuhan evaporate kamera di kota Taralu. Ia mungkin akan selalu malah tu. Betul, ada mungkin steam layu guna cuaca kau ini. Muka he wax mi palo untuk mana zgajet. Ia muka zafin mi palo. Telah ia muka Allah cuci zafu cahdu nasu. Wuhan produce ada kalu. Ia mungkin ia wuhan ust layalo ke plantu akal. Ia mungkin ke suatu من ندعي لي هذا القوام مالتنا ندعي وطاح هذا القوام مالتنا سلازي زي هذا الوان إن some plants even the steam contains chlorophylls for photosynthesis right in some plants the steam contains is a green pigment called chlorophyll this chlorophyll is very important part of the plant for photosynthesis or for producing of their own foods root system well developed the root will keep the water from uh, evaporation over uh, large areas. Animals also physiologically and behaviorally adapt the desert conditions through they are fast runners, right? But the lady when the animal which we demo unsa sato which desert to we demo bara manna ten deli ko apa michelalu, but tam roa cho chna cho ka andu gota oda andu gota ba kallalu mani ara galu mana shift mara gichalalu we demo man kasa kas chalalu man. They are nocturnal, nocturnal in habitus to avoid suns. Heat and during daytime, they conserve water by excreting concentrated urine, right? But a little more urine ka so not a chubba maso get concentrated yone, but am merza mehone, uh, shintachon, bamaso get, wuhan, makota tarichra luma. Animals and birds usually have long legs to keep the body away from the hot grounds, and lizards are most insectiva, uh, insectivorous. And can live without drinking water for several days. In the lizard, the last one was Zugze. Many are government and the Gimel Zugze, Wuhan, Watro, and the Mohan, Akamash to Makoyet Chiralu Malatos, and Kanato Yalo Makoyet Chiralu Malatno. Harnivorous like animals get sufficient water from their seeds, which they eat camels, for instance. As the ships of the desert, as it can travel long distance without drinking water for several days. In the common to know, Harnivaras, when the moon is the moon, the moon is the moon, the moon is the moon. It's what we live in the show and the Camille in the know here as well as shiny and let you shiny and you know how to accommodate with the more I come out to him as a delight low and the more come out to love you see a boy yeah my little chi give me a lot of us and exe yeah I'm a boy yet chill out let's my little number yeah my kind of okay turn drop the word turn drives means boreal barren barren lands and they are there are two types of turn dress as I have mentioned in the beginning arctic turn draw and what Alpine tundra distribution. Arctic tundra extends as a continuous belt below the polar icy caps and above the three lines in the northern uh, hemisphere, and it occurs the northern frees of Canada, 
አላስካ ዩሮፒያን ራሺያ ሰርቢያ እንደ አይዝላንድ ግሩፕስ ኦፍ አርክቲክ ኦሽንስ ራይት አልፒን ቱን ድራ ኦከርስ አት ሃይ ማውንቴንስ አባብ ዘ ትሪ ላይንስ እንግዲህ በተለይ በከፍተኛ ቦታዎች በተለይ እንደዚህ እንደ ተራራማ ቦታዎች የሚገኝ የቱንድራ ታይፕ አልፒን ይባላል አርክቲክ ምን ነው ግን ኢዝ ኮንቲኒየስ ኤንድ ኢት ኢዝ ሞስትሊ ፋውንድ ኢን አይስ ካፕስ ኤንድ ኢን ኖርዘርን ሄሚስፌርስ ሲንስ ማውንቴንስ አር ፋውንድ አት ዘ ኦል ላቲትዩድ therefore alpine tundra shows day and night temperature variations there is a variation in temperature in the day and night time regions so when we see the distribution of flora and fauna tropical uh, typical vegetation of arctic tundra is cotton grass sedges dwarf his willow bridges and leeches right animals of tundra are uh, reindeers musk ox arctic hares caribous uh, lemmings and uh, squirrels are most uh, of them are long leaves they have long leaves mammals of the tundra regions have large body size and small tails and ear to avoid the loss of heat from the surface and the body is covered with fur በተለይ ደግሞ ብዙ አኒማሎች እነዚህ በቱንድራ አካባቢ የሚገኙት ምንድናቸው ማለት ነው በጣም ጸጉራማ የሆኑ ናቸው ማለት ነው። ይሄ ለብዙ ጊዜ ውሃን ከሰውነታቸው እንዳይወጣ ይከላከላል for insulation thermal insulation they eat this fur or ይሄ ጸጉሩ ምንድነው ማለት ነው ከጸሃይ የሚከታከላላቸዋል በthermal insulation አማካኝነት የተለያየ ፈሳሾች ከሰውነታቸው እንዳይወጣ ይከላከላል ማለት ነው። insects have Uh, short life cycles right which are complete during uh, favorable periods of the year those insects uh, which are found on the tundra regions have long uh, short period of uh, lifestyles or short uh, life cycles energy flow through the ecosystem the next one is energy flow through the ecosystem the transfer of energy from the source in plants through a series of organism by eating and being eaten consists the food chain right the food chain is a chain of energy transformation from the plant to the other organisms sequentially or pyramidically as it transfer a large portion of energy is lost in the form of heat a food web a food web consists of all the food chain or all the food cycles in a single ecosystem right ba and ecosystem ust food web minelo food chain in la takalay taqello yemiz weyim demo akatto yemiz food web blen tarawallo each steps of the food web is called as tropical level tropic levels so hence green plants occupy the first levels why we give us the first levels because they are uh, producers they can produce their own food and carnivores are the second levels of uh, the tropic level and carnivores are the third level as well as secondary carnivores are the fourth levels this is what the food chain seems like and what the food wave uh, is uh, consisting all the food chains those tropical levels together form the ecological pyramid this ecological pyramid can shows the sequential transformations of energy from one organism to the next organism to the next and next next as so so the last or the fourth levels right here is what it seems like this is the tropic levels right the tropic levels the first tropic level or the primary producers are green plants are the producer they are autotrophs they can produce their own food through uh, photosynthesis and grass uh, shoppers and grass uh, ground squirrels are the first uh, primary consumers or they are uh, animals that are um, herbivores that consumes plants and they are uh, primary uh, consumers and second trophic levels the third trophic level is the secondary consumers that's like scorpions and uh, others are categorized the fourth levels of the trophic levels are tertiary uh, consumers like the uh, fox and the golden eagles as well as secondary carnivores we can call them secondary carnivores the primary carnivores are the third trophic level the herbivores are the second 
trophic levels right this is the energy transformation through the organisms from the starting from the green plants to the uh, carnivorous the food chain the transfer of food energy from plants to the animals or to the other organisms and to the other uh, animals by successive stages of feeding we call them a, a food chain a food chain right the cyclic interdependence of one trophic level over the other or the dependence of one animal to the other animals for the requirement of their energy, we call them food chains. Food chain is defined as the sequential uh, or the sequence of organisms that are related with each other through the source of food or through the requirement of their energy. Each stage of the food chain, we call them trophic level, as I have mentioned in the previous slide. And the first trophic level is occupied by autotrophs or it may be producers we call them producers or green plants green plants are the first trophic levels okay the organisms of the second trophic levels are primary consumers and they are also called as uh, herbivores and 20 to 30 percent of the net primary production is consumed by the herbivores or uh, 20 to 30 percent of the food produced by the green plants is consumed or uh, used by the herbivores and organisms of the third tropic levels are called as secondary consumers or primary carnivores carnivores are the uh, third trophic levels right the third trophic levels the organisms of the fourth trophic levels are called as tertiary consumers tertiary consumers or secondary carnivores the final carnivores uh, of a food chain is not eaten by other animals because it is known as climax carnivores kazi belay minim lela organism bitakamo aichilim malat selezi ihe yemecharashaw no wem climax no bilan entaralem malat in nature basically two types of food chains are recognized the grazing food chain and the detritus food chain right when we see one by one the grazing food chain starts from the living or the green plants living green plants it's a living organism like the green plants can start the grazing food chains, productions of food through photosynthesis, and this uh, uh, produced uh, food can go to the grazing animals like the herbivores and the carnivores, right? So this uh, the type of food chain depends on autotrophs. The autotrophs can trap solar energy or the uh, light energy and the movement of this energy to herbivores, right? Most of the ecosystem in the nature follows this type of food chain. Green plants can start producing uh, this um, food using the uh, solar energy. So the primary source of energy in grazing food chain is the solar energy that used by the green plants for photosynthesis and they can produce their own food. The food they produce can go through sequential usage of the animals like the carnivores or uh, next to herbivores goes to the carnivores, right? The following are examples of grazing food chains. Aquatic food chain, for instance, phytofly, uh, phytoplankton or this is the uh, plants can go to zooplankton, that is animals. Zooplankton can consume animals that are found in the uh, oceans and uh, water uh, environment and finally the fish will uh, consume or can use in the food chain terrestrial or uh, grass uh, i think this is the dry land uh, food chain there is a grass it's a green plant that can produce their own food the rabbit can consume or animals that are carni uh, herbivorous can consume the grass and rabbits will be uh, eaten by the foxes or that is the carnivorous so the second type of food chain is detritus food chain this type of food chain that starts with dead organisms right this is non-living organisms it starts with non-living organisms the dead organic substance is decomposed by decomposers or uh, microorganisms 
ተኦርጋን እዚህ ጋር ደሺዲየስ ዲትሪየስ ምንለው በጣም እንትን የብስባሽ ነገሮችን ወይም ደግሞ ደድ ይሆኑ የሞቱ አካላትን ወይም ደግሞ የበሰበሱ ነገሮችን ወደ ምግብነት በመቀየር ወይም ዲኮምፖዝ በማድረግ ዳጀስት በማድረግ ወደ ምግብነት የመቀየር ሂደት ነው ነገር ግን ግሬዚንግ ፉድ ቼይን ምንለው ግን ሊቪንግ ኦርጋኒዝሞች በ ሊቪንግ አማካይነ ፎቶሲንቴሲስ በመጠቀም ወይም ደግሞ ሰንላይት ኢነርጂ በመጠቀም ምግባቸውን የሚያካይዱት ከቀጥታ ከሰንላይት ነው እነዚህ ግን ከሞተ ከበሰበሰ ወይም ደግሞ ከቅሪት አካል ዲትሪየስ ፉድ ቼይን የምንለው ማይክሮ ኦርጋኒዝሞች ወይም ደግሞ እነዚህ አውቶትሮ ኬሞትሮፍ ስንላቸዋለን ኬሚካል ሪሊዝ በማድረግ ዲኮምፖዝ ያረጉና ምግባቸውን የማዘጋጀት ሂደት ዲትሪየስ ፉድ ቼይን ተብሎ ይጠራል ማለት ነው። ዶ ኦርጋኒክ ዌስትስ ኦር ዴድ ማይክሮ ኦርጋኒክ ዴድ ኦርጋኒክ ማተርስ ዌስትስ ኤክሲዱቲስ ኤንድ ዴድ ማተርስ አር ተርምድ አስ ዲትሪየተስ ዴትሪ ዳትሪታስ ዳትሪታስ ይባላል ማለት ነው ዘ ኢነርጂ ኮንቴንድ ኢን ዚስ ዳትሪታስ ኢዝ ኖት ሎስት ቱ ዘ ኢኮሲስተም አዝ ሆል ሙሉ በሙሉ ወደ ኢኮሲስተሙ ይሄ ኢነርጂ ወይም ደግሞ ይሄ ተመረተው ምግብ ቀጥታ ሪሊዝ አይሆንም ማለት ነው ራዘ ኢት ሰርቭስ አስ ኦፍ ሶርስ ኦፍ ኢነርጂ ፎር ኦ ግሩፕ ኦፍ ኦርጋኒዝምስ ዚስ ግሩፕ ኦፍ ኦርጋኒዝምስ ኢዝ ዳትሪቲ ቫርስ ዳትሪት ዳትሪቲ ቫርስ ኦር ኢቲንግ ኦፍ ዴድ ኦርጋኒክ ማተርስ the detritus food chain represents an exceedingly important component in the energy flows of an ecosystem but indeed in some ecosystem considerably most more energy flows through the detritus food chain and through the grazing uh, food chain right so in the detritus food chain the energy flow remains as a continuous passage right rather than a stepwise flow between the discrete entities therefore the detritus food chain is the conversion of dead matter dead organic uh, materials uh, to what very crucial energy sources so the organisms of detritus food chain are uh, mainly and include algae or there are uh, what microorganisms bacteria slimes it may be molds it may be actinomycet fungi protozoa insects mites crustacea crustacea and centipedes molluscs molluscs rotifers annelids worms nomatids and others they are what infectious or infectious organisms they are what microorganisms that digest the dead or the detritus to what food sources other feeding groups such as parasites and scavengers form supplementary food chain in the ecosystem nazi demo parasite minilach tegenyamoch kanesu ga tetegeto mugbachu lemagnet min yaregallu malatno abro yinorallu malatno kanezi microorganisms ga abro yinorallu bichacho huno min mehonis lay maichilu hewotacho maqattal sila maichil man parasitic food chains are highly complicated because of the life cycles right so some parasites are passed from one host to the another host by predator in the food chain a parasite can do microorganism can do host with and host can do cell with and cell can do plant with and plant can do organism with and organism tetegto abro yitalalafalu weyim demo yigwazalu mal external parasites are ectoparasites may move from one host to another well other parasites are transmitted by insect from one host to another host through the blood stream or through plant flowers bedem nekeki weyim demo bedem amakayinet alayam demo beflet begor amakayinet nekeki noram wan food chain can also existed among parasites as for instance fleas uh, that uh, parasitize mammals and birds are in turn parasitized by protozoan leptosomes so this is a chain what we have mentioned before the terrestrial food chain and the marine food chain min lawalle eziga terrestrial food chain binay lawalle plantoch nach green plantoch nach sourcesochu bilena ke green plant they are synthesizing food through photosynthesis they are called as primary producer or they are what autotrophs and they produce their own food and they can provide this energy this food to what the secondary uh, consumers uh, that is uh, herbivores is a secondary consumer or primary consumer i mean the primary consumer is a uh, herbivores or plant eaters 
Then for that, this plant eater will be consumed by the secondary consumers or animal eaters, carnivores. And also, the uh, tertiary consumers can consume the secondary consumers or the secondary uh, carnivores can uh, consume the uh, primary carnivores. And the last or quaternary consumer, the secondary carnivores, uh, the tertiary carnivores can uh, consume, can use the food as, as they can use, they can search their food from the secondary carnivores, right? The tertiary consumers. So when you see, when we are looking at the marine uh, food chain, it is phytoplankton. Phytoplankton can produce their own food and they can provide so zooplankton that are uh, animals found in the environments of the uh, water uh, bodies. And the carnivores can eat the carnivores, then further uh, provide the second carnivores, uh, and then finally the third carnivores can consume. The food chain can seem like this is a sequential consumption of food, a sequential uh, using of energy through the chains of reaction that is the chains of the pyramid that you called food chain this is all about today's lesson uh, uh, thank you for your attention ngedih izaryo timirtachin yemeslan tiru timirt endagenyachu tesfar ergallo sile neberen koyita kelb kelb amesegnallo like share subscribe maregachu indatresu belela video belela gize skemnegenay dress Chair and some bit, Malcolm Gizzi, Malcolm Oita, you want to